Hey everybody, welcome back to Chris's Trains and Things. Welcome back to the basement. Today, we're gonna to be checking out this colorful custom run locomotive behind me from Lionel. Now this is the F40PH, but in a very unique paint scheme. So let's talk about it right here on Chris's Trains and Things. So here it is. This is the Panama Canal Railroad version of the F40PH. This is an actual locomotive that exists. The Panama Canal Railway is a real railroad. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But this was a custom run done by Metka. So a very limited amount of these were produced by Lionel. Uh, this, the F40PH was released in the 2022 volume one catalog, or that's when it was announced. And they were delivered in right at the end of 2022, early 2023. Now, Metka has these available. You can purchase them from their website as well as from any shows that Metka's at, including the York show that's coming up here very, very soon. So I thought I'd share the one that I have here on my layout with all of you today. So perhaps maybe it's something that you would wanna buy if you go and see the Metka booth at the upcoming York show. Here's the deal. The York train show is coming up here in just a few weeks, April like 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, sometime around there. It's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday show. If you go and go to the Metka booth and you go to purchase something and you mention Chris's trains and things, you save yourself some, some money on your purchase. So make sure you do that. Get to the York booth, get to the Metka booth at York and mention Chris's trains and things in this video. If you're by this or maybe one of the other great products that Metka has, make sure you mention my name. You'll save yourself some money. So let's get up close and personal with this awesome model from Lionel. So the F40PH, a little bit of history, was developed by General Electric's EMD division or electric motive division between 1975 and 1992. So these were produced for quite a bit of time as it goes for locomotive build standards. Now they were purchased or built for Amtrak specifically for shorter passenger service. Now they, they quickly took over full Amtrak service due to the failure of the its predecessor, which was another EMD engine. And they really ran through the new millennium until the debut of the GE Genesis, which kind of took over. Now they can, they were used by Amtrak, they were used by Via Rail, and they've, since they've been disbanded by Amtrak, for the most part, you're gonna see these in some other railways, including the Alaska Railway uses these. You're gonna see, I believe Metra uses these as well, just outside of Chicago. You're gonna see the Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority or MBTA, New Jersey Transit use these, Caltrain, Go Transit. You mention it, or you think about any sort of passenger type service, they probably used these if they were operating between the 70s and early 2000s. Now, the Panama Canal Railway does have a few of the ex Amtrak units like the one that you see here. And that railway itself is really, really unique. It's only about 48 miles long and it runs from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean right along the pa Panama Canal. So the colors on this probably look familiar because they are Kansas City Southern colors. And if you look at the crest here, this looks very familiar as well. Now, the Kansas City Southern went into a, an agreement with a company called MyJack Products, which builds MyJack builds those big cranes that kind of move intermodal containers around. Lionel actually put out a MyJack model that you can have in an intermodal yard on your layout quite a few years ago. So they went in in a joint venture to basically move some intermodal freight through the Panama Canal area. And then they ended up taking over some passenger service as well. So you can actually ride behind one of these F40 PHs with you or ever down in the Panama area. So what's under the hood? Well, there's a 16 cylinder prime mover here and depending on the gear ratio when it was delivered, these things could travel up to about 110 miles an hour and really get to the you know Amtrak service wherever it needs to go. They weren't gonna be needing much more speed than that on our American rail system. Now, when Lionel cataloged these, they also offered the cabbage unit, which is a stripped out hollowed cab unit that doesn't have any engine inside. It has a garage door and it was used for baggage and then also had the cab area there as well for uh, if it was running in the opposite direction. So pretty neat. So you could get a cabbage unit when Lionel released these as well, which is a, a cool little add-on that's it's kind of different than just a dummy or super base unit because of kind of the details that that would have. One of the really neat features that this locomotive has that I don't believe was detailed in the catalogs is that the displays inside when this thing is powered up, the dashboards have um, illuminated gauges, which is really, really cool. So we see that on some vision line models. We typically don't see that on things that aren't vision line. So it's pretty neat that line I was able to fit that detail into here. Now, when you do a custom run like this, it's completely done. The, the the scheme they try to replicate as much as possible for something that's real. So this is a prototypical railway. So 
the Mecca team does their best to replicate that. They have actual pieces here, like the city of Diablo, and then we have that in Spanish here as well. So there's some different engines for the, the Panama Canal Railway. They all have different names. And so they chose city of Diablo because it's kind of sounds pretty cool. Now, these engines feature full legacy and Bluetooth control. So you can run them with Bluetooth, with the Lionel app. You can run them with your legacy remote, a TMCC remote, or you can run it conventionally. They feature front and rear electrocouplers. They do have kinematic pilots Move on around, them. And they do, so, they do need 054 curves. Even though they are short at 14 and three quarters in length, they do still need 054 curves. But I don't know. I'm guessing you might be able to sneak this around something a little bit more narrow than that. Really nice truck detailing, more than you see on typical typical diesels, just because I know these are a little bit different. Small fuel tank on this, and then we've got some cool detailing and piping here with these what appear to be air tanks and, and some hose lines and things like that. Even up underneath here, you see some hose detailing, which is really, really neat. You've got some flashing, you've got flashing ditch lights on the front of this. We've got some really nice roof detailing that we'll get a closer look at as well. And then we've got some indicator lights on the rear of the locomotive also. Now, as I had mentioned, these were from Lionel's 2022 Volume 1 catalog. They also cataloged a bunch of Amtrak units, including a Phase 3, a Phase 4. They did a Veterans unit. They did a Phase 5 scheme, I believe. They offered the CSX Business Train version of this. They offered the Rio Grande Ski Train version of this as well. They all MSRP for $629.99. But if you go through a Lionel dealer, you can probably get these for less. Now, this one you can't. But if you want to pick up one of these, you go to one of my favorite stores, which is trainworld.com. You're probably going to be able to snag some of these for under that MSRP value. And then if you want this one, you've got to go to Metka. And we'll have their information linked below so you can get to the Metka store to purchase yours. But as I said, if you can hold out till you work in a couple weeks, then you can mention Chris's trains and things and save yourself $10 on your purchase. So you don't have to buy the Panama Canal Railway engine to save that money. You could purchase some of the other awesome engines or products that Metka will have for sale at the York Show. So be sure to stop in the Orange Hall and check them out.
much. Um, Bob, I'll let you know when I'm moving again. Out. So that's all I've got for you today, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this video and this F40PH from Lionel and custom run by Medca. And 